A final plea from Robert Tellis to find him not guilty. The former public administrator was back on the stand defending his words after delivering a narrative testimony that may have cost him the case. I am not crazy. In a case where every word in the search for justice counts, Robert Tellis chose to not only testify in his own defense, Andy. but did so in the form of a narration, not guided or questioned by his defense attorney, Robert Draskovich. I didn't kill Mr. German. I didn't kill Mr. German. I didn't kill Mr. German. The former elected official told jurors over and over he did not kill Las Vegas Review Journal reporter Jeff Gehrman in September of 2022 and claims he's being framed. But prosecutors say there's overwhelming evidence linking Tellis to the crime, including his own DNA police found under the victim's fingernails. I am innocent. And, you know, I, I'm not the kind of person who could brutally murder another man. Prosecutor Christopher Hamner continued to grill Tellis on Friday, poking holes in his narrative testimony, all of which was subject to prosecution scrutiny. Isn't there a slide from August 1st to August 31st of 2022 talking about location data from your phone? Yes. And, and it was a blank slate, right? And I, I will get to that in my redirect. No, you got to get Sorry. to it now. Isn't it but, true? Oh, give me, it give me one moment, please. And at the center of Friday's testimony, tell us his recount of events on the day Gehrman was killed. So I'd make her chicken fried rice um, off of like a Google recipe. The prosecutor targeted Tellis's claim a deep cut on his finger found at the time of his arrest was caused by making chicken fried rice. He called back Metro Forensic Lab Supervisor Matthew Hovanis, who previously testified about reviewing downloaded data from Tellis's phone. We did a global search for the word recipe. That's this is all you could come up with out of that phone, or at least that's all that Celebrite came up with. Is that right? Correct. Um, did you also put in the global search box the terms fried rice? Yes. Hovanus told jurors there were no results found on Tellis's phone the day of Gehrman's murder for the terms recipe or fried rice, but Tellis's lawyer countered asking if he equally searched all of Tellis's electronic devices. Hovanus said no. As an attorney, when you have a defendant who wants to testify, what do you usually advise them? And a lot of you have been asking me about Telus's choice to testify, so I asked criminal defense attorney Malcolm Laverne about the strategy. There has been no bigger witness for the prosecution to make the prosecution's case than Mr. Tellus choosing to get up there and testify on his own behalf. This is the problem with testifying if you're a defendant. A lot of things can come in that never would have come in but for Tellus testifying. But when Tellis was facing the jury, I could see he tried to make every word like a final appeal. You're just the victim in this whole thing. Is that correct? Yes. Thank you. No further question. From my seat in the courtroom, I could see the jury taking their final notes in the last day of testimony. I also saw Jeff Gehrman's family downstairs speaking with prosecutors. They've been coming nearly every single day in this trial. The jury could begin deliberations as soon as Monday afternoon. And as I've been doing, I'll keep you updated in this trial. At the Regional Justice Center, I'm Jay Wan Jung.